Hello and welcome, dear viewers, to the exciting world of software development security course, offered by Flipped Academy. We are thrilled to be your guide through this course. Topics to be covered before we plunge into the depths of software development security. Let's take a quick look at the roadmap we'll be following. Our journey is divided into several key areas, each shedding light on important aspects of software security. Here's an overview of the topics we'll be delving into. Introduction. We'll set the stage by understanding what software development security is and why it's crucial in today's digital landscape. Software development lifecycle. Discover the stages a software goes through, from concept to retirement, and how security fits into each phase. Software development methods. Explore different approaches to developing software and how security considerations vary. Software capability maturity model. Learn about the model that assesses an organization's software development processes and security practices. Software change management. Delve into managing changes in software and how to maintain security during updates. Generations of programming languages. Take a historical journey through programming languages and how they've evolved in security contexts. Security controls in software development. Uncover the arsenal of security tools and practices used during software development. Database security. Understand the unique security challenges posed by databases and how to protect sensitive data. Software security effectiveness. Evaluate the effectiveness of security measures implemented in software. Remember, each topic builds upon the previous one, creating a comprehensive understanding of software security. By the end of this course, you'll be equipped with valuable insights to bolster the security of software at every stage of its life cycle. Introduction to Software Development Security. Let's dive right into our first topic, Introduction to Software Development Security. In today's interconnected world, where cyber threats lurk around every digital corner, the importance of securing software applications cannot be overstated. Imagine software vulnerabilities as open doors inviting cyber criminals into our digital spaces. These risks are pervasive, impacting individuals, businesses, and even government entities. It's no secret that cyber attacks occur every minute, underscoring the urgency of our mission, ensuring security in software development. So, why is software development security essential? It's a fundamental layer of defense that safeguards our digital assets and sensitive information. In this course, we'll equip you with the knowledge and skills to fortify your software against these ever-present threats. Let's peel back the layers and delve deeper into why security in software development is paramount. In our digital age, cyber criminals are relentless in their pursuit of exploiting vulnerabilities within software applications. From ransomware attacks to data breaches, their tactics are becoming increasingly sophisticated. By adopting a proactive security stance throughout the entire software development lifecycle, developers can effectively combat these threats. Addressing security risks early in the development process is not only an opportunity but a responsibility. It's like strengthening the foundations of a building before the storm hits. Consider this. A robust security approach isn't just about plugging gaps. It's about integrating security seamlessly into every phase of development. This approach empowers developers to identify vulnerabilities, apply necessary patches, and build software that's inherently resilient. Software Development Lifecycle SDLC Phases Let's delve deeper into the heart of the Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC. Picture the SDLC as a structured journey that software projects embark upon, guiding them from conception to retirement. We're going to explore each of these phases to understand how security is interwoven into the very fabric of software development. As you can see on the slide, the SDLC is divided into several distinct phases, each representing a crucial milestone in the software's life cycle. Think of it as a roadmap that ensures our software's security is nurtured and strengthened at every step of its evolution. Let's briefly touch upon these phases before diving into their specifics. The journey begins with initiation, where we define the purpose and scope of the software. Then we move to the development acquisition phase, where the actual creation or acquisition of the software takes place. As we move forward, the implementation phase sees the software come to life. It's like the moment when an artist's sketch takes shape on the canvas. 
Next, we enter the operation phase, where the software is deployed and maintained. Finally, the disposal phase marks the end of the software's life cycle, ensuring its retirement is just as secure as its inception. What's remarkable about the SDLC is that security isn't an afterthought, it's a guiding principle throughout. With each phase, we're not only building features and functionality but also fortifying our software against potential vulnerabilities and threats. Imagine the SDLC as a protective cocoon around our software. It shields it from the ever-evolving landscape of cyber threats and ensures that security is embedded from the very beginning, ensuring a robust and resilient final product. Software Development Lifecycle Ensuring security at every step, we're continuing our voyage through the software development lifecycle, navigating from security implementation all the way to disposal. As we steer our ship, remember that each phase is a crucial checkpoint in our quest for secure software. Just like a ship's crew follows a map, we're following the roadmap of software security to ensure our digital vessel withstands storms and adversaries. Our journey begins with security implementation. Picture this phase as our shipyard, where we fortify our software before launching it into the unpredictable waters. As any wise captain would have a strategy, we prepare a security plan. It's like our blueprint, detailing how we'll protect our software against lurking threats. Next, the initiation phase is like choosing our destination. We define the need and purpose of our software, understanding what it's meant to achieve. Just as we scout for potential obstacles, a security assessment scans for vulnerabilities. It helps us identify any weak spots that need shoring up. As skilled shipwrights, we move to development, acquisition. Here, we integrate security requirements into the very design of our software. Imagine our shipyard installing armor plating and testing each section. Similarly, we install security controls and subject our software to rigorous security testing. In the maritime world, a ship receives its certification. In software, we seek accreditation, an official seal of approval that our software meets security standards. As we bid farewell to security implementation, the seas of operation and disposal beckon. These phases are like the open ocean, where our software truly comes to life. In operation, our ship sets sail. We oversee security operations, keep watchful eyes through audits, and maintain the ship's integrity. It's like navigating through calm waters. But remember, every voyage comes to an end. In disposal, we guide our ship to its final destination, ensuring it's dismantled or decommissioned securely. We archive precious memories and sanitize any lingering traces. Just as a ship leaves no trace when it docks, we ensure no data remnants remain. Kindly take the time to thoroughly explore this comprehensive module, as it will undoubtedly contribute to a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the subject matter.